All right, today we're gonna be staining our beehives. And we're using this Watco tongue oil. Now, when it comes to finishing your beehives, there's a lot of things you could do. You could just leave them natural. Uh, out here in Florida, we have a lot of rain, so I wanted to use tongue oil. This is gonna work with the wood. It's gonna help condition it. It's gonna help moisturize the wood, and it's gonna help repel water when rain does come down on it. Now, I bought these beehives um, completely set up and built from Man Lake. This is my first time raising bees, so I kind of wanted to see how a professional beehive looks and comes finished. But the reason we didn't get painted beehives is because after doing some research and reading about some other beekeepers and their experiences with beehives and seeing other local people in the area, the paint peels off. Uh, in the rain, it's going to last like one or two years. And it's like that latex base, base paint and it peels off and then the rain penetrates your wood and you end up with rotted hives they just they're not going to last as long when you use paint so there's two other options the one other option is what you're seeing here we're applying a coat of tongue oil now this is pretty easy to use this stuff we did this pretty quickly you just rub it on we use an old t-shirt and you just pour a little out, dip it on your shirt, and just kind of rub it on. Rub it the same grain as the as the wood. And it really absorbed a lot of this stuff. I was pretty surprised. But the reason we went with tongue oil instead of paint, it's natural. Um, the bees don't seem to mind it. After doing a lot of research, it seemed like this was one of the most common things beekeepers were using. There is something a little better, but I'll get to that in a minute. The reason we went with tongue oil is because the cost of it, I think it's going to be one of the best things we could do for rain protection and the ease of applying it. So this is like pretty easy to apply. The one thing that I would recommend if I had like unlimited money and I could just get anything I wanted done, I've seen some beehives that come pre-dipped in beeswax. So the whole outside has like a... a a layer of beeswax out of it just dipped in beeswax and that to me seems like the best thing you could do for a beehive I mean that thing's gonna be immaculate it's not gonna be the rain's not gonna mess with it or anything but I don't have the um, I don't have the money right now to buy a big thing of beeswax in a big vat to dip all these things in so we went with the tongue oil I actually kind of like how it turned out it's like a really nice natural finish it didn't change the color or darken it too much. It just looks really nice. And then the paint, the thing that worried me about the paint was, I was reading a lot of people said their paint would peel. If you were living in a drier area and you didn't get much rain, I mean, maybe the paint would be fine, but for me, these beehives were pretty expensive and I'm looking at this as like an investment. So I wanted to want to take care of it from the start. So with how much rain we get here and the humidity here, I think the tongue oil seemed to be the best case. Like I said, if I had unlimited funds and unlimited resources, I would try to dip these in beeswax. That seems pretty cool. I did find some that were online that came pre-dipped in beeswax, but they were from different suppliers. And the people I spoke with locally really recommended Man Lake. I wanted to see how these hives came out. I've heard a few people recommend them, so. I went with the Man Lake ones, and then I bought the unpainted ones and stained them myself. It was a little bit cheaper to do it that way, and the stain only cost me about like, I think it was like $18, so I still have a little bit left over. So here they are, all finished. Some beautiful looking beehives. And it didn't darken it, it's not like a normal uh, stain, it's just an oil, it's a finish. And it conditions your wood, and it's going to help repel the water. Those are those beehives. If you get some beehives, make sure you take care of them. Do something to them. Don't just let them sit out in the rain. Don't let them rot, because it's an investment. Here's the electric fence. If you didn't see that video, I'll post that one. We set up the electric fence, because we do have bears out here too. So I'm gonna put those beehives, once we get the bees in them, in that electric fence there. Thank you for watching. I have this all 